Another beautiful day in Portland. What's up, big kids? Dropping off this Indy 500 today, the EFI sled that uh, has dumped us. I think this is the first machine that we're dropping back off that's not fixed. And uh, it's not, not from lack of trying, that's for sure. So I'm going to do my best in just guiding this guy through what could possibly be the issue. Not charging them for anything that we did on it. We freed the steering up, pick up, drop off, but it doesn't really matter because you can't ride it. Um, fuel pump's just not kicking on. The fuel pump works. Swapped out some relays, jiggled some wires, finally got it to kick over once, and that was it. Swapped out a handful of parts, and now it's just, I don't know, luck of the draw, or the unluck of the draw. Is that a thing? If that's not a thing, I just made that up because that's what we got on this one. The uh, EFI 500 drop-off went pretty smooth. I mean, we're still we're cool, and we're on the same page is what it is we didn't figure it out i didn't charge him for the time that we were in it he felt bad i felt bad we all hugged it out at the end and uh it was just an unfortunate situation on an older efi sled sometimes that's just part of the deal so heading into the shop now and uh hopefully we don't have another situation like this for a while Swapping seasons on these little pit bike tires. We're going from ice to dirt. That went really smooth today. Didn't pop a tube, um, which happens not every time, but on those little tires of the rim lock and the, just the leverage, and sometimes I pop a tube on those little pit bikes. Today I did not, so today's going to be a good day. Every year people ask me about a uh, affordable, a cost efficient uh, 1040 oil. This is what I got this time. Maxima 1040. This is a petroleum, so this is not a synthetic. And uh, that's about eight bucks a liter or a quarter, whatever you want to call that. Uh, the next step from that would be a full synthetic. Those are about 10 bucks. So, if you're looking to get some, get on in and we'll get you filled up. You know, I might try running some of that cheap stuff in my Brappuccino today. The SXR got picked up today. That's uh, probably tucked away nicely in its own garage right now. The 250 here, uh, fork seals and uh, new fork oil in that thing. Waiting on brake pads for that, and that can go home. Get ready to rip that this weekend. Taking a look at this, uh, what the heck is this thing? Predator 500. Finally got it to the point where it's gonna fire, and uh, get some electrical gremlins hanging out in this thing. Rest of the week's looking like it's going to be that Raptor. Button that thing back up, make sure that runs nice and tight. And uh, we're gonna take a look at this cafe racer. Finally got, well, I think we're heading in the right direction on that one. Electrical again. Electrical stuff is awesome. John loves it. Loves it. Uh, and a couple other things lined up to come in. Um, so again, if you're looking for service, uh, it's probably a good time right now to dial it in and get it in here. Gonna have a quad sport up for, uh, up for sale here pretty soon. I think Kevin's gonna get that all figured out today. We're waiting on a, uh, a throttle cable that finally came in. So hopefully that's the last thing we need there. Button that thing up, mm, do some 12 o'clock wheelies, get dialed in. Oh yeah. So we're waiting for weather at this point. 20 degrees and chilly, rainy garbage. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes that.
getting there. Yeah. It's running. That's good. Nothing's leaking. Yeah. Sweet. That 400, well, 400 plus is uh, it's gonna be for sale soon. Uh, I believe that's an 04. Uh, and uh, yeah, once it gets up and running properly and give it a little once over, put that out there for sale. Hopefully it's just in time for the warm weather to hit and this cold front to get the heck out of here. Uh, that's gonna be probably 2200 bucks, somewhere in that neighborhood. Sounds beefy. Nice and throaty, oh yeah. That's gonna make someone very happy and excited. So once we get that all figured out, get it cleaned up, give it one more little once over, You'll hear about it. We'll put that out there for sale. That and that little blaster. Oh my God. Father son team right there. A little 200, a little 400 plus. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Package deal. Successful day today. Uh, some good sales. Some good service stuff. Uh, that little quad. That thing got dialed in. So clean that thing up. Get all the questions answered on that. Get that out on my Facebook world. And uh, get this thing sold. Good chunk of money sitting there. I could use that. So make that pink turn into some dough. And roll that into something else. Get some other juicy product coming through here. Uh, yeah, so all in all, pretty nice day. We're off to a good start this week. Uh, service is looking good. Parts are looking good. Some good stuff getting put on eBay. Whew. This little gray period with the weather and stuff, it's hurting. But we're coming through it, right? Yeah. I mean, nothing that we haven't been through before. Same thing every year. The gray period gets a little less and not as deep. Does that make sense? Whatever. Too much. Too much, man. All right. Peace.